Good morning, guys. It is travel day. Okay, I'm leaving. I oh, know. When you make it okay, well. to there, and then through check-in, and then when you're boarding, and then when you're gonna take off. Okay. Okay. Bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Be careful. Be safe. I will. Don't party. Hi, Sticky. We made it to the airport and I'm literally in the farthest parking lot possible. <laughs> the closest parking lot to the place is full, so I'm all the way in the back, so we have kind of a long walk, but it's 9.30 and my flight doesn't start boarding till 11.30. I feel like I'm pretty early, but like, it's my first time flying alone. I'm also filming and I just don't want to be stressed and I just want to like glide through this whole process. It's my mom. <laughs> so, I mean, I have plenty of time to spare. I'm probably gonna sit in my car for like 20 minutes because I really don't want to sit in the airport for that long. Oh my god, it's so windy. Hey, it's 10 o'clock. We're gonna head to the airport now because <laughs> we have a far walk. <laughs> lunch we stopped at her house which i got to see her parents which i haven't seen them in what what it was like six six, six years they loki i would just say six because we saw you four years ago but that was just like yeah oh, that was just like hi yeah like i've never like been in like, like i didn't go in their house since we were literally ago. children yeah 12 and 13 which is crazy that is um so, crazy. so yeah we're, we're we made it i made it in indiana and i finally ran through snow look <laughs> It's so pretty! It's melting, but it's there! It's more snow than Florida has ever seen in their lifetime. <laughs> no, seriously. But yeah, I ran through it, and yeah, this is what Indiana looks like. New roundabouts. It's pretty boring, but... <laughs> um, we've been, when we went to Chick-fil-A, I realized where we were, and it's like deja vu. Like, I lived here for 12 years. Your, your brain's like, click yeah. it every now and then it works. <laughs> but yeah, so... Um, I'm gonna be filming the entire weekend. Today was just kind of like a travel day because it was a monumental moment because Emma traveled by herself. Finally! <laughs> um, but yeah, so I will film the whole weekend and then you'll get like a vlog of the entire weekend just in one video because I don't know how much I'm gonna film and like what we're doing. There's not too much to do here, so like, right. it's gonna no be one video. Right? <laughs> I know I'm home, but I kind of just wanted to like sit down and like <laughs> recap how flying alone went because usually like when I travel, I'm with people or like my family. So this was a very like, monumental moment because as you guys know I want to travel and like travel the world and this was a good first step for that to happen because I was kind of scared to fly alone I think it's a very scary experience but I did it and it's honestly not bad like I had so much fun like I felt so free and so independent like it was just like fun doing everything on my own like I'm an adult like being grown and mature like I handled it so well and like it was just so much fun so the airport that I flew out of was like so small and we always fly out of that airport so like I knew my way around there's only like five gates so it's like a really small airport so like I wasn't too stressed about like flying out and like figuring out my way through that airport flight there was honestly really good it was really smooth so I downloaded videos on HBO Max Gossip Girl like three episodes we're in there I go to HBO Max 
it says no Wi-Fi, no service, nothing loads. So I'm sitting here like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do for two hours? Thankfully I had music downloaded. If not, I would have been so bored. Music is so different than watching like a show. So I was just like sitting here, like looking at the back of the seat for two hours listening to music. So I was kind of bored. I did not know HBO Max needed Wi-Fi to watch downloaded videos. I think that's really weird. So when we landed, obviously I landed at the Indianapolis International airport. I have been to that airport so many times considering that I lived in Indiana for 12 years. So I know my way around and I only fly Allegiant usually. So Allegiant is like on the left side of the airport. So like I always come out of the same area and I know where the exit was and everything. So like the Indianapolis airport isn't scary. Like it's honestly a big airport, but like once you go to it a few times, you get the hang of it and you know where everything is. And like security is really smooth. Workers are great. And I mean, everything went so wow and like so smoothly i was on time for everything and it was honestly such a great first experience flying alone like guys count me in i'm gonna do it again <laughs> and i'm glad that i got to do that like on my own but like i know what to expect every time that i travel with people or like alone so yeah we can finally check off flying alone for the first time off of like my bucket list you could say yeah i just wanted to sit down and just like explain how it went how i felt and everything just because when i got with elizabeth i really didn't talk talk about it and that was like the whole point of the video <laughs> so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and i'll see you very soon back for more videos bye guys <laughs>